I want you to not just feel like we got to sing some songs. I, I want you guys to leave feeling like, man, that was a real, a real show. Where we got to really just really mm. elevate the name of Jesus. Amen. And uh, one of the ways that I feel like kingdom building happens is through vulnerability. And uh, so another thing I want you to leave here with is that I was real with you. So I want to get kind of real with you, okay? Is that cool? <laughs> okay. Listen, I said God is good. And I almost guarantee you that there's somebody, if not many of you, that are having a hard time believing that today. And I bring that up because, y'all, that was me. From about 2018 to 2021, y'all, I was dealing with really severe depression and anxiety. And I was standing up on the stage every night singing about how good God is and, and all these things. And some of the things that I was talking about on stage, y'all, I needed to hear for myself. And I guess I bring all this up because I don't know everybody's story tonight. I don't know what your circumstances look like. I don't know what your past, your present, or your future is going to look like. But I do want to remind you of a truth tonight, Ohio. Mm. That y'all, no matter what you're facing, whatever this life ever throws at you, whatever you're going through, y'all, the only way through it is hand in hand with Jesus, y'all. Amen. Just like David in the Psalms. Y'all, the guy faced some of the most insane challenges that this world could throw at him. Does anybody remember what he did? He trusted and he praised God through it. And I don't know if y'all remember the kind of the secret sauce to the whole algorithm there. <laughs> But the secret was, is he was still, and he listened to the voice of the Lord. Y'all listen, Philippians 4, 6, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything with prayer and petition and thanksgiving, present our request to the Lord. And I'm fully aware that, y'all, we are living in a world where that is getting harder and harder to do every single day that we continue. Again, I told you I was getting real, right? Full transparency. If you're anything like me, y'all, I wake up to my five-year-old little boy knocking on my forehead at 6.30 in the morning, every morning, like it's a door. Like, I'm like, what? 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 What's going on? What? Holding a bag of chocolate chip cookies, y'all. Like, hey, Dad, can I have this for breakfast? I'm like, no! Give me the cookies. What are you, do what are you doing? <laughs> you look pretty good, man. <laughs> but yo, listen, I wake up to that. I wake up to 100 missed text messages and 50 missed emails. All the wants and the desires, all the expectations of the day, y'all, they just flood in like a tsunami, y'all. Truly, we should be following in the footsteps that David kind of foreshadowed for all of us, which is just pushing all of that aside and tuning in to the voice of the Lord for the day. <laughs> and listen, y'all, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because, y'all, this has changed my life. The practice of this has transformed everything about who I am. And let me let me say that again. A practice. Because this is not something that's like a fix it quick scheme, y'all. This isn't just something that you do once and it's done. But I promise you. 
that if you put this into practice in your life, yo, your peace, mm. it's perfect. Your comfort, forget about it. Your provision, unbelievable. Because you're not being your provider anymore, y'all. We know who our provider is, amen? Yeah. And so, I say a whole this scenario. Again, just to remind you. Oh, that the love of God, it has never wavered not one time in your whole life. Yeah. And I believe in a God who loves you for who you are, where you are tonight, Ohio. Amen tonight.